Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today's video is going to be my monthly empties video for the month of April. These are one of my favorite videos that I film every single month where I go through all the products that I finished throughout the month and I talk about if they're products that I would repurchase again, if they just didn't work out for me. And we also go through the full value of everything I emptied. I am trying to hit $3,000 worth of empties by the end of this year. I was able to do it last year. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it this year, but we're definitely on our way to that number. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the beauty, skincare, makeup, hair care, candles and such that I finished in the last month, then keep on watching. Let's go. So I do have everything broken down on a spreadsheet by different product types. So the first category is makeup and I finished three makeup products this month. All were very exciting. So I'll start with the one you might have seen in my empties video. This is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray. I can't remember if I got this when I was still subscribed to BoxyCharm or back when they were sending it in PR. Overall, I did like this product. I know some people have said it makes their face like shimmery. I never had that experience with this. I liked it, but I do have tons of setting sprays and I just wanna work through what I have because to me, I feel like I can't really tell a difference when I use a setting spray, especially like a glowy one. I don't know, like today I'm using um, my Mac Fix Plus because I am trying to pan that one as well. But yeah, this was fine. Um, this retails for $29 and I feel like for $29, I could put my money other places. The next is a little mini highlighter. I have a lot of nostalgia. So this is from the Balm Voyage number two palette. This was their luminizer in the shade Kuwa Karabisha. So this is very nostalgic because first of all, I didn't, I couldn't figure out a value for this. So I called it $2, but I had originally gotten this highlighter in my very first ever Ipsy Glam Bag. And it was my first ever highlighter and I fully used it up and I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? And I literally went on eBay and repurchased it because I was like, I'm never gonna love a highlighter as much as this. So I bought the same one. So this is the replacement one I bought back in, I'm gonna say 2017. I'm pretty sure I got this in 2017. So this just how it holds nostalgia for me to me for that reason. Not, not going out to repurchase it. Honestly, I feel like the shade wasn't much different than like their Mary Luminizer shade. So I don't know, it was just, it holds nostalgia. Okay, the last makeup product I finished is quite exciting. I have been trying to pan this since the beginning of 2021. And that's the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. So this retails for $24 and I actually purchased this in 2018. And I always like thought it was fine, but I really do like the ABH brow gel a little bit more. However, the fact that I use this almost daily for over a full year, and it took forever to like get every last little drop out of here. I feel like $24 isn't the worst price with how much of a value you get with this. So I, I just recently opened my ABH one, which will last a while, but I wouldn't be against getting this again in the future just because of how much product was in here and how long it lasted. Okay, so for my makeup empties for the month of April, my total came out to $55, bringing my annual total of makeup empties to $196.29. The next category is lip balm. I did not finish any lip balms in the past month, so my total for the year is still $60.99. For skincare, I do have it broken into three categories. I have just regular skincare, facial cleansers, and masks. So in the skincare category, I did finish one product this month, and it's one that I have now finished three full sizes of. It's the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. I did buy this in a set, I think towards the end of 2020. It was like one of their holiday sets. I really like this product. It's a nice like BHA exfoliant. It honestly like was one of the first products I remember like being able to visually see a difference from when I went to bed and when I woke up. That being said, I do have different products I'm using in my skincare routine right now that I feel like are working for me and I don't feel like I need to run out and get this right now. If I did feel like I needed a BHA again in my routine, I would definitely get this one, but it does retail for $58. So it's not like the cheapest thing in the world. I mean, technically, actually it's an AHA. I feel like I thought it had AHA and BHA. It's a, a chemical exfoliant. Regardless, I'm not running out for it, but I'm not against getting it again. So like I said, for the month, my empties came out to $58, bringing my total skincare empties for the year to $273.45. I have four products in the facial cleansing category this month. So let's get started. Two are makeup removers, two are facial cleansers. So I'm gonna start with the two facial cleansers. Um, these both were used as like second step. This first one um, is from Bliss, and this is their Fab Foaming 2-in-1 Cleanser and exfoliator with bamboo buffers. I feel like I have used a sample of this before. It has a very like blueberry scent. I came out that this size retails for about $4.69. I do like this. 
I just, I don't feel like I need an exfoliator, like a physical exfoliator in my, in my facial cleanser. It's just not something I need because I do use chemical products for that. So it was fine. I would have liked it better without the exfoliation. So just for that reason alone, I wouldn't purchase again, but I do think it's a nice product. The next one I disliked a lot. This is a little sample of the Olay Micro Polishing Cleansing Infusion Hydra Hydrating Glow Crushed Ginger and Citric Citrus 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 Extract. This size retails for about $1.39. I did not like this. This was a lot more gritty. Like I feel like the Bliss had more like bigger, ex larger exfoliating particles, whereas this had very tiny ones. And I feel like the tinier they are, the like more exfoliating it is. And it's just, it's not something I need. I did not enjoy it. Don't recommend. So this next little sample I finished is from Clinique and this is their take the day off makeup remover. I do already have another one of these open. I feel like you can get these as samples everywhere. This size retails for about $5. I usually use this for like half the time if I'm not using like a good mascara and it's one that smudges and I wake up with like raccoon eyes every morning. I use this in the morning. These are really good for touch-ups. Honestly, like if you get makeup on like furniture, sometimes I'll rub this on to break down the makeup on furniture. Yeah, I, I do like the Clinique remover, but especially with an eye, like an oily eye makeup remover, I feel like you can get store brand and it's just as good. The last one is so upsetting. This is one of my all time favorite like makeup removing balms and I know they don't sell it anymore. <sighs> and it just makes me so sad. This is the number seven nourishing cleansing balm. It's a big boy. Like this thing took me a long time to go through. This one you could buy it was $8.99. Um, it does have like a very kind of coconutty base. I feel like there's definitely coconut oil in here. So if you have a coconut oil problem, I don't think you could use this. However, I feel like this is 4.2 fluid ounces. A little goes a long way. It really is a good job for, like breaking down the makeup. Very like nourishing. It doesn't feel like it's stripping anything. Did not want to see this go, but I'll find something else. Let me know what your favorite like more drugstore makeup remover is because like right now I'm using the 4-3 Beauty one, the oil, the pump oil. My only thing is like I hate ordering from ColourPop and I really don't want to have to order from ColourPop just to get my makeup remover. So if you guys have like a one that's like a really good value, like a big tub for not a lot of money, let me know. So my facial cleansing empties for the month came out to $20.07, bringing my annual total to $97.06. Next we have masks. I finally finished my first mask of the year. It's a mini, like trial size, but I did it. And this is exciting. So this is a, like a sleeping mask. And this is from Memond. And this is their Calming Hydro Sleeping Mask. This reminded me a lot of like products from Fresh. You're not gonna be able to see, but you know how like a lot of the fresh skincare line has like rose, has like rose petals in it. This kind of had that kind of vibe. It was like a gel kind of facial mask. I was really bad at remembering that I had it open in my cabinet. That's why it took me so long to go through this, but I, it was okay. Like I'm not really into the like florally face masks. So it's not something I would buy. But I did kind of estimate that this retails for about $5 and 25 cents. It was, it was just okay. You know, <laughs> it's not really my vibe. I do have another similar product I'm going to talk about later in this video that I thought was awesome. So this just, this isn't something I'd recommend unless you like, like florally face masks, I guess. So like I said, for the month of April, my mask empties came out to $5 and 25 cents, bringing my annual total to $5 and 25 cents. Next in hair care, I did have one empty and it is a dry shampoo. It's one of my favorite dry shampoos that I've used up many, many times. And it is the living proof dry shampoo. This is just their original perfect hair day. They do have a more advanced one. I do have like a, like a, half size of that. I haven't cracked open yet, but I did get a two pack of these back during like the holiday season when they kind of group them together and you get a pretty good discount because for full price, this does retail for $28 and that's quite a lot of money. Right now I'm using a, I'm using one from, hmm, I can't remember the brand. It'll probably be a next month's MDs. It's like a sample size I got that I do not like as much as this, like this, this kills the oils and my hair has been like the most oily ever lately. So <laughs> I really needed this. And like I said, for the month, my hair empties came out to $28, bringing my annual total to $102.90. All right, onto body care. So I feel like a frequent flyer in my empties videos is this Degree Cool Rush. I just bought a new two pack today. I've been using this for years. This retails for $2.79. It's just what works, so I keep using it. Another product I finished is the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. I have this for medium to deep skin tones. This I don't think works really well as just a self tanner. I kind of use this especially more in the summer months when I'm like in between self tanning just to like moisturize after the shower. I will say I have to be very careful with this or it can look streaky. So 
It's, it's something I like, but it's a lot more temperamental than other products I have. Like I said, I do have another one of these ready to go, but I say tread with caution. Oh, and this retails for $9.49. Now I have like my nail wraps. I don't have the ability to use the packs more than once because my nail sizes are very particular and I can really only use the tiny ones. I did mess up and this should have been in last month's empties, so I'm throwing it in this empties. This is the Dashing Diva Ultra Shine Gel Color in Baby Pink, and I actually just repurchased this exact same one for my sister-in-law's wedding in May. Um, this is probably my favorite pack I've used. It just looks so nice. Right now I'm using a set that I bought from TJ Maxx, actually I'm about to show you, <laughs> called Dream Big, but I really, really liked this one. This retails for $5.99, and I feel like for a manicure that lasts easily over two weeks. I mean, I do have to file in between. $5.99 is a really nice price because I don't have to worry about my nails chipping off and my child eating them off the floor. Like I said, dream big. <laughs> I got this at TJ Maxx. This uh, retail price is $8. So the bigger, more fancy ones are $8. I, like I said, it has some sparkly ones. It has some like marbled ones. I really do like it. For me, it's not necessarily my go-to is having the ones with the patterns. But when I was at TJ Maxx, like this was cheaper than getting the plain set full price at like a Target. So that's why I got it, but yeah. I, I still prefer that baby pink one. And if you're like, why are nails in the body care? Because when I started this, I didn't have like nail empties. So I never thought to make a nail category. Maybe next year we can add a nail category into the, uh, the empty spreadsheet. But for now it's going into my body because it's part of my body. So for the month of April, my body care empties came out to $26.27, bringing my annual total to $140.21. Next I have hand soaps and I did not finish any hand soaps this month. I know that's a big surprise to some people. So my empties for the year are still at $37.50. Now we got some candles. I just wanted to tell you that like, I've been trying to like explore the world of candles a little better now. And I smelled like over 10 different candles at Target today. Cause I was like, maybe I'm missing out. Like their candles are a little cheaper. Maybe, maybe I'm missing out. I thought every candle smelled horrible. So I did not get any. All right, I'm gonna go in, I think the order that these were burned through. This actually used to be the candle that was up here while I was filming. This is the Yankee Sparkling Cinnamon. It's so funny because growing up, I felt like this candle scent was the one that my mom would burn a lot. And I liked it so much back then. And I just feel like it's not as impressive anymore. I feel like since going towards Bath and Body Works candles, the Yankee candle th scent throw just, it's not impressive to me anymore. So I really don't recommend it. And if you were to pay full price, these size candles are $12. Why? Okay, this one is a Bath & Body Works candle that I love. So what's really funny is I first had strawberry pound cake when I was pregnant in 2020, and it was like over the summer and I had to stop burning it because the scent was too strong. <laughs> um, and then I wound up finishing it, I guess last year when I wasn't pregnant and I bought it again at one point last year. This one is such a nice like dessert candle. So it is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake and whipped cream. It really smells like a strawberry shortcake. I love this scent. This one is an older candle, so it retailed for $24.50 and I definitely would get this scent again. This next one I bought many years ago at TJ Maxx and it was this big three wick candle and it was called Falling Leaves. Um, it says it retails for $19. And one of the reasons I never burnt this is because this giant candle just sitting out in our old apartment used to have such a scent throw that it would make our whole apartment have this scent. And I honestly think this falling leaves, it's definitely a dupe for leaves. Like it's, it reminds me a lot of the leaves candle. So it would just be like sitting and it would almost be like filling my apartment without being lit. And then this past month I was like, I need to burn some of my older candles. They're just sitting around. And I was like, I can burn fall scents any time of year. That's just one of my loves. And this one smells so good. And I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, if I saw this candle again at TJ Maxx, I would definitely get it. Last candle is such a flop. So I bought this, it must have been 2020 because that's when I had a Grove Collaborative membership. And this is the Vanilla and Sandalwood Soy Candle from Grove. Smells terrible. Retails for $16.95. It, first of all, you couldn't smell it when it was lit. It literally was just like a decoration. It wasn't like a scent throw, it was just a decoration. But like when I stick my nose in here, it smells disgusting. Do not recommend at all. So <laughs> for the month, my candles empties came out to $72.45, bringing my annual total to $278.39. So my next category is my miscellaneous category. This does not go towards my total number for the year, only because like these aren't necessarily products that I emptied. These usually are products that have like gone bad and stuff. So 
The first product I have that went bad, I went to use this nail polish recently and it was Chunk City. <laughs> this is from Sally Hansen and this is their Insta Dry color in the shade Grape Shifter. Now, in the past, I had been such a fan of the Sally Hansen Insta Dries, but I had never got one of the top coats like this before and I never really liked the way this looked. Let me see if you can like see, but it was like supposed to be really pretty and glittery and stuff, but I always felt like it was chunky and never spread out well. So this was the last time I bought an Insta Dry, Insta Dry like glittery top coat. I just prefer getting just like the solid colors now if I'm in a rush. I don't really recommend their glittery top coats. And then this other one was randomly chosen in my makeup roulette. And this is the Mirabelle uh, Magic Marker Eyeliner. I had gotten this like as a free sample in like 2017. So it is <laughs> very much dried out. It is not black. I'm not considering it empty because I didn't use it up. It just literally like went bad and dried up. So, oh, I didn't even say. If you're wondering, this nail polish retails for about $4.29. This retails for $24, no. I'm wearing the Physicians Formula Eyeliner right now. I recommend that one so much more to the point where I just bought a new one today because the one I'm having is running out of fuel. You'll probably see in the next empties video. And then my last category is foil packets. And I'm just trying to keep track of how many foil packets I use up this year. I'm not doing that for like numeric value. And this is where we can talk about the other mask I was talking about. This is from the brand OK, which I'm pretty sure is a K-beauty brand. This is their Nourishing Sleep Mask. This packet, I got about two nights use out of, and this was wonderful. This honestly reminded me of a really, really nice hydrating, creamy, thick face cream. This is a product I would use. Like if I, if I saw this in a store, I would buy it because this was really, really nice. I liked it a lot. I didn't really think of like, oh, I'm wearing a mask right now. Like it really felt like I'm wearing a really thick moisturizing night cream. Then I also used this daily conditioner. This is the Macadamia Professional Oil Infused Hair Repair Deep Daily Conditioner. It like smelled good, but I didn't recognize and see any big difference in my hair at all after using this. So did not impress me impressed me. So obviously I finished two foil packets in the month of April, bringing my total foil packets for the year to six. Now we can go over my totals for all categories. So for the month of April, my totals came out to $265.04, bringing my annual total to $1,192.04. So we're definitely on our way to 3,000. I don't know how close we're gonna wind up getting by the end of the year, but I really enjoy doing this. It's just like a fun experiment. Please let me know in the comments if you guys have used any of these products and how they worked out for you. And yeah, that's it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below. Give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.